Hi, it's Cassandra. Come back with another video. Yeah, so I was talking more about uh, the cult will give you enough uh, rope, you know, to hang yourself. Because at the end of it all, you know, you, you have all these uh, the problems, you know, really with yourself. You know, how you uh, handle and uh, accepted things that you would not uh, normally uh, have done that. So in a way, um, like I said, I was talking about the story of uh, when my girls uh, were molested inside the congregation and how the uh, the elder inside the congregation handled everything. You know, um, I was really upset with my uh, husband because I still wanted us to go and talk to these people. You know, I wanted to talk to the husband, the wife, and uh, the son, but I didn't want him to, you know, carry a knife or whatever. But I wanted us to, like, sit down and talk. And, uh, you know, he he acted like he was really too upset for that. And, you know, he couldn't, uh, you know, he didn't really want to ever talk about it again. So uh, in, all the, in all those years, I just, I had to stop talking to him about it. I had to just, like, smush it, you know, bury it. And then when I tried to uh, talk to the... Uh, People at the Kingdom Hall about it. They really act like I was gossiping for real, you know. So, uh, but I did, uh, you know, warn those women in there. And uh, two of uh, two other children uh, were uh, found, you know, according to their mo their mothers. To uh, they knew that they had been molested by that guy, and it was a baby that uh, was always over there to the house, and. Uh, you know, of course, she couldn't talk or anything, so we would never know about her. But, yes, um, the the boy really did, uh, the young man really did uh, do a lot inside that small congregation. And uh, it was never a talk given, never a warning over the platform, nothing. And so, um, you know, even when I was really trying to, you know, lay off the meetings a little bit, you know, my, my ex-husband would really, you know, really still encourage me to, you know, to go. Are you going to the meeting tonight? Or why not? You know, that kind of thing. And, um, you know, so I kept going and, uh, you know, we, we sat by, the, you know, this place was so small. So you was right there on the, 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 the pedophile. And so, you know, my children, they didn't really know what had happened or anything, but I knew what had happened and I knew that I was sitting up there with a uh pedophile and you know and his mother you know they didn't you know wasn't repentant they didn't they weren't sorry about what they had done you know even I, I'm sure that she knew uh that the other two uh children about the other two children that that he had his her son had been uh, uh molesting and everything so um yes um we just went in like nothing had happened for real. And so uh, when I told my mom and my sisters about it, you know, of course, they were just, you know, everybody was like, put it in Jehovah's hand and he's, you know, he'll get his later. And, you know, that was the, the normal thing to say. But uh, it was just it was it just wasn't handled right. But I just kind of like let it go. You know, I really did. You know, I kept on just moving on like it was nothing, you know, and um I had heard before, you know, what one minister serving in another kingdom hall when we moved to Utah had uh, been uh, uh, put on reproof, whatever, for, uh, you know, like uh, statutory rape or something like that, you know, inside the congregation. But, you know, it was just something that was kind of, kind of like just normal, you know, just, you know, you don't, you, you don't really have to hear the talks and everything that they uh, give about fornication and adultery, but you never really hear about the the, uh, the pedophiles and really what you, what to do, report this and what you would need to how you would need to gather information in order to report this situation so everybody would know about what happened. But when it was about pedophilia, it was always a like a hush hush thing, like everybody you know really got together and protected that pedophile, and um, that's one of the, the the reason why I really come back and talk about it because. Uh, people really just act like that was like a, a like one of the a, a, the normals inside the norms, you know, inside of the the congregation that you know children just got touched or molested or almost got molested or, or whatever. But it was like it wasn't a big thing, but uh, it was like you know you just had to like uh, just let it go, and so uh, to sit there and just uh, 
let it go. And then uh, when I did start hearing on the, hearing on the news, like on 2020, you know, where some when people was, were coming out saying that this was like a real problem. And so I was like agreeing that you're right. It is a problem. And for my mother to use the word, oh, that's just propaganda. And, and you know, they just lying on, on, on the, uh, on the organization. And I was like, really? You know, even though I already told you what happened to your own grandchildren. So I knew then that the cult was a, uh, a mind bender. It was just something like they were just using experiments and everything to run on people to see how far they can go with you. Would you, uh, let, you know, would you sacrifice your children, you know, to molestation? Would you try sacrifice your children to working so hard out in the, in the, uh, field service? Would you uh, sacrifice your children to not get education? Would you sacrifice your children for blood transfusion? Would you let them die? You know, don't get the blood transfusion. So when I looked at the whole situation, I really saw that this had been a very uh, secret society of children uh, being uh, sacrificed. You know, it was uh, children, your children were being sacrificed in one way or the other, you know, and so... Uh, it's, it's ridiculous and uh to act like it's okay and to uh to act like it's just a normal religion no no it's not and uh so i would uh encourage us all to know that this was really something that was very uh detrimental for us and anybody that really need to you know seek out that help and everything because like i said before i really knew that i needed help because uh i i had a lot of anger in connection with not really doing anything and i guess uh, I did, you know, I did what I knew what to do at the time, you know, uh, even though they told me even not to even uh, tell anybody in the congregation, I still did, you know, warn the, warn the women that were in there, you know, with the children and all. So I did what I could do on that, but I really wished I had, you know, just not been inside of the, the cult altogether because by the time I was uh, left there, when I was like 17, when I left this, the United States, I really didn't want to have anything to do with them, so you know, to uh, second guess myself and to let somebody uh, push and, and uh, peer pressure me back into it is, I think, is what I, I really judge myself. But I no longer uh, judge myself. Uh, things in life happen. You know, you live and you learn. So I had to really uh, just go back and just, you know, embrace and just accept the, the woman, the girl that I was who, who went through all of that because it was a lot of pain in, in connection with all that that I encountered. But to uh, just, I just really love my, my daughters and I just really apologize. You know, I apologize to them, you know, even back then. But, you know, they don't really have a real big memory of all that and everything. I'm not trying to make them remember and I didn't want them to suppress it so they wouldn't know what had happened. But, uh, yeah, I, I didn't handle that situation uh, correctly or whatever. And uh, that's that's the normal thing that the the cult wants you to do they give you enough rope like i said before in order for you to to hang yourself on different situations so uh like i said if you if you go somewhere and you sacrifice your children you know without uh whatever different different ways that you can sacrifice yourself or your children or your loved ones they won't have their hands or nowhere to be found but they did give you the rope in order to hang yourself so i'm just uh encouraging us all to just uh, just forgive ourselves, you know, uh, uh, take care of ourselves, uh, love and take care of each other. And uh, like I said, continue to be that light bearer to sh to let people know that, you know, it's okay to really not only uh, leave there, but uh, run out of there as fast as you can because uh, that, uh, that cult is a uh, very painful place to be, you know. So anyway... Um, Thank you guys for, for always listening to my stories and everything. And I, I just hope uh, all of you guys are having a great day. And thanks for watching.